Gen AI systems will become the norm, uh, just like mobile phones and dot com and uh, cloud computing. I always uh, recommend people to watch the movie Moneyball, right? Uh, there, the uh, you know Brad Pitt tries to change his sports organization where he tries to inculcate data, and actually the algorithm and the data part is the easier part. Uh, but uh, changing the way people have operated is the most difficult part. Uh, you should be a servant leader, where you lead your team by example. So first of all, I'd like to thank the Great Lakes team for inviting me and uh, allowing me to share my views. I believe uh, Gen AI is here to stay. Uh, there is a huge hype around it, uh, but uh, Gen AI systems will become the norm, uh, just like mobile phones and dot com and uh, cloud computing. Um, it will start influencing, uh, you know, how unstructured data like a video or a text or a voice gets utilized. A uh, lot of new uh, areas will emerge in data governance in terms of data security and other aspects. Okay, uh, since you said aspiring data scientist, I will go back and tell them to focus on the basics. The basics will not change even after another 50 years, uh, right? I would encourage them to focus on uh, understanding the business problem, understanding the domain, what are the key drivers of that business problem, uh, right? Uh, investing time and energy in understanding the domain. Programming, that will never go away. Uh, the tools might differ, uh, Python or a SQL or some of the latest uh, programming languages. Uh, they should continue to uh, understand the basics of that and practice that extensively uh, in the early stages of their career and uh, the ability to share a solution and convince others uh, right, to make that decision. Uh, the storytelling aspect is also something I would encourage uh, aspiring data scientists to follow. Yeah, so traditional uh, uh, data governance will continue to be there, right? Most of the data is structured data transforming to uh, I have an ETL and you go ahead and build a data model, you put a visualization on top of it, and then you use that structured data for data science and predictive modeling. That will continue to be there. The Gen AI will open up the unstructured component of it. For example, uh, image data, voice data, uh, video data, text data will start coming in. So these will be parallel pipeline. It will probably use a RAG vector database approach, and it will help you look get insights, additional insights uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know building dashboards. Uh, dashboards would get probably get replaced extensively by ta chatbots. Like uh, I've had customers who have said they have like thousand dashboards that will probably shrink, and probably only a twenty or thirty dashboards will remain. The rest of them will be taken over by chatbots. And data science model will use both unstructured data and the structured data in making their models more accurate. So they'll coexist with the traditional models. Uh, I've worked with a lot of technology clients, uh, some of the big names, right? Microsoft, Google, Apple, Facebook, and all. The challenges are the same across the board. Change management. How do you change an organization with uh, data? Uh, right? Uh, I always uh, recommend people to watch the movie Moneyball, right? Uh, there, the, uh, you know, Brad Pitt tries to change his sports organization where he tries to inculcate data. And actually, the algorithm and the data part is the easier part. Uh, but uh, changing the way people have operated is the most difficult part. Uh, that has always been the case across all uh, uh, industries, across the geographies. Change management will continue to be a key challenge. And as uh, business leaders, you should, be, uh, you should not look, uh, underestimate the impact of change management in uh, the organizations you guys work for. So my advice would be to do all three. Understand the business problem, sit down and program, and do the stats, right? Uh, you should be a servant leader, where you lead your team by example, where you would sit down and write the code yourself, review the code yourself, see if the data quality is right, uh, roll up your sleeves, understand what the business problem is, look into the output, uh, and uh, lead the team by example. Uh, be a servant leader. That is what I always recommend to aspiring data scientist leaders. Uh, I've had a great experience with Great Lakes over the past few years. Uh, that's the reason why I'm here, uh, right? Uh, I've, uh, we have hired from uh, Great Lakes, visited the campus today. Uh, professional is the one word I'll call. The students, the faculty, the support staff, uh, very focused, humble, um, 
you know, um, the way they carry themselves, the way they dress, the, the way they spoke to me. Uh, uh, you know, that's what the industry is looking for. The grooming, as uh, people describe it, uh, uh, is being done correctly here, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, the, uh, looking forward to a continued partnership with Great Lakes.